The extendable tail hoist offers operators a low loading angle. These hoists are intended to operate in areas where low overhead clearance is an issue, like inside a building. Galfab hoists are jig built to be consistent and accurate. Galfab hoists are engineered to provide one of the best roll-off hoists available. Like all Galfab's great products, they are made right here in the USA. Galfab manufactures the extendable tail model to standard specifications practiced throughout our industry. We also offer special models to fit unusual user applications. This hoist design provides a sliding tail section that can be withdrawn into the mainframe or extended rearward. When extended, the tail contacts the ground before the hoist frame is completely elevated. A low loading angle results, allowing containers to be loaded in places where a ceiling or overhead obstruction would limit roll-off container usage. Care needs to be observed that the tail is on the ground when loading and unloading. The tail section is a smaller section than the mainframe and is more susceptible to bending. Another feature is that this hoist could be used to pick up a container that is on a level lower than the tires, over a curb as an example. This type of hoist is available in two design options. One has a traditional subframe and the other has no subframe. The EX subframe option has an 8 inch tall mainframe tube and a 2 inch tall subframe. The subframeless NEX model has a 10 inch tall mainframe tube with reinforcing strips on the top and the bottom. Your Galfab sales representative will help you choose which model best suits your applications. The Galfab side roller system is unique in that the shaft rests in a hole drilled into the mainframe of the hoist. Some manufacturers weld a plate onto the side of the mainframe. The Galfab design allows the container long sills to be fully supported by the side rollers. Therefore, there is more bearing on the shaft and there is no overhung load. By loosening the two bolts on the front plate, the shaft can be easily removed for roller replacement. You will really appreciate the time savings realized by changing a shaft by removing two bolts as opposed to cutting off a stub shaft and welding on a new one. There are no cotter pins or washers that wear out prematurely. This is also the Galfab advantage. We have two types of optional hold-on systems that we normally use, the hooker and a ratchet tie-down. The hooker uses air-operated components integrated with PTO controls. When the PTO is on, the arms are down and out of the way for loading or unloading. When the PTO is off, the arms come up and secure the container long sills. Manual controls are available. The four hooker arms provide a potential vertical load capacity of 40,000 pounds each. Ratchet tie downs use steel hooks on four inch wide nylon straps and a ratcheting assembly on each side to tie the container down. The ratchets slide in channels to line up with the spaces between the cross sills on the container. Both systems require an open space between the cross sills and space above the long sills to allow the systems to engage the container long sills. Galfab hoist components are located and tacked together in a jig for quality, accuracy, and consistency. They are removed from the jig and moved to a welding station for solid welding to develop necessary structural integrity. A serial number is welded into the inside of the main frame tube at the front on the passenger side for identification. The weldment is then moved to a sub-assembly station. Removable items like aprons, cables, and winch cylinders are installed. Basic hydraulic plumbing is installed. The assembly is now ready for mounting on a truck chassis. As mounting is complex, 
the variations from chassis manufacturers must be considered. Battery boxes, air tanks, and other items may need relocated. If lift axles are mounted, air tanks may need to be added for increased air capacity. Chassis modifications are made if they are required. The truck frame is cut off and the hoist is placed in position. After the hoist is secured to the truck frame, installation of components can begin. Valves, lift cylinders, bumpers, and requested options are all installed. After sales order requirements are satisfied, the unit is ready for cleaning prior to painting. Weld spatter and surface imperfections are removed. The unit is power washed with an acid soap mixture to remove any chemicals or residues. After priming and the paint has dried sufficiently, lights and fenders are installed. Safety decals are applied and the unit is ready to be inspected for quality and completeness. All Galfab hoists include an instruction manual for operation, maintenance, and parts replacement. Care has been taken to be sure that all the items you requested have been observed. Absence of abuse, proper maintenance, and a good training program are essential to make sure you get many years of great service with your Galfab roll-off hoist.